Hi, I'm Stuart Campbell from Motorboat and Yachting Magazine. Um, in the April issue, we've set out to test some of the leading diesel bug treatments on the market. Our treatments are split into two camps, your enzyme and conditioner treatments, which aim to uh, lift any water in the uh, fuel into a suspension and disperse the diesel bug so it can be burnt off in combustion, and your biocides, which um, set out just to kill any contamination in your fuel. Um, we'll be hearing in a minute from Ian Roos from a company called Fuel QC, and what he'll be showing you is just what kind of microbial life exists in uh, a moderately contaminated fuel sample. So take a look at this. What we're trying to show with this is, is not a scientific test. It is just a visualization of, of what's actually in the fuel. Your, your fuel might look crystal clear or even a little bit cloudy uh, to the naked eye, but that doesn't mean there's quite a few things in there that is uh, smaller than five micron, which will pass through a filter, but will typically damage the engine on the inside. This is a visualization. Putting it under a microscope allows us to see all those particles floating around and hopefully give you a better understanding of the, the context of what we're looking at and what the problem is. You can actually see something moving in this uh, picture as well. Now you've got your normal water droplet, which is just sitting there. And slowly but surely, um, what looks like biofilm or small colonies is attaching itself to the droplet. Uh, originally, when we started looking at this picture, it was just these ones at the bottom. This one just came and attached. And uh, we should see some more moving towards it. Microbes tend to move towards water whenever they find a suitable place, they tend to all migrate uh, to that point uh, where they can find water and where can, they can, can survive. Um, microbes are a little bit more intelligent as well than what we think. They, they actually communicate. Um, chemical sensing, telling each other where to find the water as well. Now that is a perfect photo to show fungus actually creates these channels. It's, it's growing like a plant and just like a plant transfers things from one point to the next. It does exactly the same. And it's actually running it down there. Uh, and that is just the one big, what we suspect to be a colony, which will be a combination of fuel, water, microbes and biofilm. And you can actually see how it's, it's segmented as well. It, it, it grows like grass. And, and to be honest, that is, that is not your biggest problem from a fungus. On the end of these you find little clusters is like fruit that holds all the spores. Now right now you might test it and that says, oh I've got one fungal plant. Your boat starts shaking and that fruit breaks open and releases a million spores. Mm -hmm.